It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Tartarus beer. Again, a Tartarus beer. This is my second beer from Tartarus Beers and this is their Dry Hop Saison. This is 4.5% ABV in a 300 milliliter can and it's called Lutin. There's a look at the can. What I like about Tartarus beers is the fantastic artwork on the cans. They look absolutely wonderful. I want to start off this review as well by saying a massive thank you to Stephen Claxon. Thank you very much, Stephen, for sending me. Well, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven Tartarus beers uh, that he's kindly sent to us by the wonderful, wonderful Trembling Madness up in York. So let's get the beer out into a glass. Oh, and see what we get. My poor perfect draft machine. It keeps on getting showered by beer. <laughs> so Tartarus, they're based in the Leeds area. They're based up in uh, North Yorkshire there. Come on, get all of that out. I'm, I'll let that sort itself out. Yeah, they, I'm sure they're based in Leeds. Let's have a very quick look. Oh, we'll have a look. We'll, we'll find that later on. We'll, we'll have a look later on, but I'm pretty sure they're Leeds based. We have a two finger white, foamy white head on the beer and good levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. And it's just, it's just lovely, really. It's just a lovely looking saison first half of the pour if you looked at it was clear and it's the reason why i kind of stopped the pour and give it a whirl round and chuck that sediment in there is because saisons are supposed to be a little bit hazy i do like a hoppy saison this should be should be really good let's get the aroma oh yeah just oh. <clears throat> You get that kind of dryness from the, like a peppery, dry, estery. People are saying estery is not a word. <laughs> I kind of, what is the real word? Um, I, I've been saying estery now for years and years. It's been the wrong word for years and years, but it, it's my way of describing the yeast. <laughs> An estery yeast. It's, it's a it's a kind of spicy peppery kind of dry saison yeast it's saison yeast that's done it mm, and then the hops the hops are lemon grapefruit tangerine mango Smells amazing. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, super. Super, super, super. Stone the Crow. Stone the Crow's beer. This is great. There's a hiss and a fizz of carbonation that starts off in your mouth. First thing you really feel is the carbonation pushing the beer round the inside of the mouth, releasing more of that flavour. And then it's a combination, really, of it's like a real big battle in the mouth. You're getting a lot of that Saison characteristic. You're getting a lot of that kind of what probably wants to be like a hazy pale ale characteristic. So there's a battle there in the beer. Yes, that's off very dry, very drinkable, very refreshing. And then it goes over to being kind of a spicy pepperiness, but a lovely bitterness on the back end. It's got a really, really nice bitterness to the beer. Oh. 
really lovely, really, really lovely, really, really good. It's the hop factor of this beer is great as well. I've not looked at the hop. We'll have a look at the hops in a minute, but it, it, it really is a uh, like a grapefruit, an orange peel, uh, a spe peppery kind of spiciness coming through and then a bitterness. But then there's some soft fruits in there as well. There's, there's some mango flavour coming through. There's a little bit of passion fruit. Drinkability is fantastic. Drinkability on the beer is absolutely wonderful. Let's have a look at the hops and let's, let's see if there's a mention of the hops. So uh, water, barley, wheat, hops and yeast. Uh, ah, yeah, the hops are Saz and Nelson Sovin. So you've got that kind of Nelson Sovin hop of New Zealand. So that should be given off like a white grape. And the adjuncts is saying farmhouse vibes. We'll talk about the farmhouse vibes in a moment. But the Saz hop as well. So Saz and Nelson Sovin. Nelson Sovin has a a big white grape characteristic. Now it's it comes from the same area as the Nelson Sauvignon, the New Zealand grape that they grow in that part of the world. And it, it has that kind of very similar characteristic. It almost gives off like a white grape flavour. Now, admittedly, I'm not Superman. Um, admittedly, um, I haven't picked up that white grape. When you read the hop, and then, you, then you're able to process it again, have another taste of the beer, it's blindingly obvious. It's blindingly obvious that it's, that it's a white grape flavour coming through. But also kind of like mangoes and grapefruit and a little bit of passion fruit in there. Right, farmhouse vibes. So this is the Saison characteristic. I talked earlier on in the review about the Saison yeast. Um, it's a farmhouse yeast that is from the kind of Belgian, France region. And it was, the reason why they called it farmhouse yeast is that farmers back in the day, two, 300 years ago, they used to have a lot of farm workers on the, on the, on the farms. There wasn't much machinery about. So it was all kind of hand done, picking in the fields with the horses, plowing the fields, you know, that sort of thing. Everything was manual. So to keep the spirits up on the farms for the farm workers, the farmer used to make cheese, bread, and importantly, beer. And the beer used to be like a lightish 4%, 4.5% ABV beer, and it was called a Saison. <clears throat> so the idea was to keep spirits up. Lunchtime, the farmer would either whistle or whatever. They knew the time, right, lunchtime, let's go up. And they'd have some bread, some cheese, and a beer for their lunch, all provided for by the farmer. That was the kind of idea behind the Saison style beer. And it's a style that I love. It's a style that I absolutely love. Really good. We'll have to get Jeremy Clarkson to make one, shouldn't we? Uh, Jeremy Clarkson says on, farmhouse says on. <laughs> right, okay, I'm gonna rate this one. Um, it's really good, Lutin. It's called, um, lovely artwork on the can. I'm a big fan of Tartarus beers. And I did quickly say that I'd find It's distributed to Sweden. That's fantastic. I was just looking for the brewed by and packaged by Tartarus Beers Unit 6 Taverners Walk. Leeds! It is Leeds. It is Leeds. Of course, Taverners Walk, they've taken over the <coughs> they've taken over the old North Brewing Company plant, haven't they? The brewery. <coughs> Pardon me. Right, rating. Rating for the beer. Love it. I think it's fantastic. It's a classic example of a hoppy season. You've got that hop, hoppy kind of flavour in there, that great characteristic of a hoppy beer, hoppy pale ale, combined with that kind of saison aspect of the beer, that kind of funky, farmhouse, dry, spicy flavours coming through. I like it, I really like it, it's a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!